Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we are with a new video content that is chapter six. Um, uh, in this chapter, we will be completely discussing about pain disorders and pain related conditions. Everything will be discussed here. So hereby I am adding an I card for the playlist of ICD-10 CM guidelines. If you are watching for the first time, you can check those playlists also. Other uh, chapter guidelines are added in those playlists. So it will be really helpful for you if you go through that playlist. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and share it with your friends also. Don't skip the video in between. Watch the video continuously. So we will have a proper idea about this. ICD 10 CM guidelines and if you have any doubts you can put it as a comment or you can mail me also and I am pretty sure that it will be really helpful for you. So thank you so much watch the video completely for your clear understanding of chapter 6. Thank you take it. Hi hello welcome back so today we will be seeing about disease of nervous system code series G00 hyphen G99. This is also an important topic which is coming under in ICD-10 CM guidelines. So we'll begin the topic. Watch this video continuously. Don't skip or uh, skip in between. Otherwise you won't understand. So please don't skip. So for starting with this topic, first you have to understand what is dominant, what is non-dominant and what is ambidextrous. Dominant means the side of the patient which we use frequently. That is called as dominant side. For most of us, it is right. Non-dominant, the side of the body which we don't use frequently is called as non-dominant. For us, it will be left. Ambidextrous, they can use both the sides together. For them, default will be right side as a dominant. And code category G81 is for hemiplegia and hemiparesis. Hemiplegia refers to complete paralysis while uh, hemiparesis refers to partial weakness. So subcategories of this code is G83.1 monoplegia of lower limb, G83.2 monoplegia of upper limb, G83.3 monoplegia unspecified. So the first guideline is pain not elsewhere classified. The code series of this is G89. So when we should give G89, the pain should be specified as acute or chronic pain, post thoracotomy pain, post procedural pain or neoplasm related pain. If it is mentioned like this only, then you can assign G89 as a code. A code from G89 should not be assigned if underlying diagnosis is given. Next category G89 as a principal diagnosis. When G89 can be given as a principal diagnosis, the patient is coming to the hospital for the treatment of pain. Then pain code will be the primary code and underlying disease condition will be the secondary code. You should read the question very carefully. Here see example a patient while displaced intervertebral disc, uh, he is coming for um, the, uh, to take the painkiller. That's why we are assigning pain code as a primary code. When G89 will be assigned as a secondary code? When an admission or an encounter is for a procedure aimed at treating the underlying condition and the pain control is also given along with this. In this, primary code will be for the disease condition and secondary code will be assigned for the pain. Next one. Assign category G89 and site specific pain code. For example, if the code describes the site of the pain but does not fully describe whether the pain is acute or chronic, in this case, uh, we should um, assign uh, both codes, acute and chronic should be assigned. Next, G89 with site specific pain codes. For example, um, the pain management for acute neck pain. First, you have to code for acute neck pain due to trauma and second, you have to code for the site. Post-operative pain. Post-operative pain means what? Pain immediately after the surgery is called as post-operative pain. So for post-operative pain, associate, not associated with post-operative complication, post, code only for post-operative pain. Post-operative pain associated with post-operative complication, first code for complication, second code for post-operative pain. Next is chronic pain. Chronic pain means the pain which is lasting more than 6-3 months or longer is called as chronic pain. For this code G89.2 will be assigned for this chronic pain. So understand the guidelines very carefully. Then only you can and as I said the primary diagnosis is very important. So understand the guidelines clearly. Next is neoplasm related pain. If the patient is admitted in the hospital for the treatment of neoplasm related pain. First code should be for neoplasm related pain. Second code should be for neoplasm. 
second guideline if the patient admitted for the treatment of neoplasm along with that the patient is also having pain first code for neoplasm second code for neoplasm related pain for this we will be seeing two type of guidelines next is chronic pain syndrome so central pain syndrome and chronic pain syndrome is there central pain syndrome means loss of loss of sensation in the pain area is called as central pain syndrome for that g89.0 chronic pain syndrome after uh, uh, the pain goes from the site also since it is a chronic pain the pa patient will be experiencing uh, a sort of pain in that area that is called as chronic pain syndrome for that you have to assign chronic pain syndrome code so that's all about chapter 6 icd 10 cm guidelines and hope you understood clearly take a note of all the guidelines whichever we are discussing here so that it will be helpful for your cpc exam as well as for your interview preparation so that's all about uh, icd 10 cm guidelines chapter 6 if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe thank you so much